This will begin our review on organic molecules. First, we're going to cover carbohydrates and lipids. The Department of Education competency and objective is 2D, and that's to compare and contrast the structure, properties, and principal functions of carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids in living organisms. In this slideshow, we're only going to cover carbohydrates and lipids. In layman's terms, it means you're going to describe the structure, what it's made of, the function, and provide examples for each of those organic molecules. Carbohydrates are chains of monosaccharides. Monosaccharides are a monomer of carbohydrates. Monomers are the smallest part of a structure or a compound. So remember that monomers make polymers, which is going to be long chains of the monomers. Sugar in its simplest form can be found in organisms as monosaccharides. Carbohydrates turn into sugar as soon as you ingest them. Carbohydrates are the primary source of energy for all living organisms and carbohydrates are used as short-term energy. So to review, the function of carbohydrates is the primary source of short-term energy. They can also provide structural components of cells. Uh, in this case, what you need to remember is that they are the primary source of short-term energy because they are sugar. The monomer, the smallest part, is the monosaccharide. And some examples of carbohydrates are starch and cellulose. Starch can be found in things like breads, uh, anything made of wheat, pasta. Cellulose is usually found in plant cells, and that's what makes things crunchy, like celery or apples. Next, we'll talk about lipids. Lipids are glycerol molecules that are bonded to fatty acids. They can form waterproof coverings of cell membranes so that they only allow certain particles through the cell membrane. Lipids are good and bad at the same time. So some of the pros of lipids are that they form waterproof coverings, they store energy long term, and they can cushion and insulate animals, especially in colder climates. So think of whales that have a thick coat of blubber because they're swimming in cold water, or seals. The cons of lipids are that food is fuel, so if you ingest more calories than you consume, especially those fatty foods, then that sugar that's created will be stored as fat. To review lipids, their function is to store energy long term and compose coverings, waterproof coverings. The monomers are fatty acids and glycerol, and examples are fats, oils, and waxes. One thing that's going to be on the test that I want to make sure that you are exposed to is this type of question. So if the paper under this food that you see on your screen were tested for biomolecules, what would it show? So there would be a greasy spot on the paper from the hamburger and the french fries. Starch comes from the potatoes, that's the carbohydrate, and then lipids would be from the fat in the burger and the cheese and bacon and all that other good stuff that is really not good for you. So if the paper were tested, it would show starch, which is a carbohydrate, and it would also show lipids.